everyone, it's Rachel, and in this video I'll be showing you how to make a supply llama from Fortnite using polymer clay. So let's get started. For your llama you're going to need purple, a darker purple, dark blue and a lighter blue. Use the regular purple as the base colour and make three pieces. The first one we're going to shape into a rectangular prism for the body. For the next section you'll need to roll it into a cylinder and then attach it onto the body. I blended the pieces together and you don't need to worry if it looks a little messy because it will be covered up later anyway. Then use your blade and trim off the very top on an angle and this is where we'll be placing on the head. And then of course with the final piece of clay shape it into the head and then add it on top of the neck. Right under the neck I also created a larger indent and this is where we're going to be connecting on the jaw. So for the mouth take a small section of purple clay and shape it into a little trapezium. You'll then want to turn it on its side and then trim off the top half with your blade. Now you can go ahead and make the teeth using a strip of white clay and then add it onto the jaw. Now simply place the jaw into the indent that we previously made. Moving on to the other face details, I created an eye on each half of the face using a circle of white clay and by placing a small ball of black in the center. To make the ears, I took my purple clay again and I rolled two sections into long teardrops. I then cut off the ends on an angle and positioned them towards the back of the head. For the nose, roll out a thin strip of black clay and cut two even sections which you can then add to the very front of the face. To make the bridle, take some dark brown clay and roll it into a thin coil. Then add a section over the nose and then also one around the back of the head. bolts on the bridle I used a ball of silver clay and indented the center of each one. For the legs of the llama I decided to use toothpicks which I will paint later on rather than using clay which could risk breaking. So I cut up one of my toothpicks into four sections and then I created four indents in the body of the llama where I wanted to position the legs. To help secure them into the clay, I'm using some Sculpey Bacon Bond, which is a liquid clay. Now to add the coloured ruffles, roll a coil of your clay and flatten it down using a rolling pin. Then use a blade to cut off some even sized sections and you'll want to create a whole bunch of these. I also went ahead and did the same with all four colours and then started placing them all around the llama's body.
detail, I took some longer strips of the original purple colour and bunched them together at one point. I then trimmed off that point and attached the tail onto the body. For the saddle kind of part, I rolled out some tan coloured clay and cut out two squares. I then did the same with some smaller white squares and placed them on top. Before adding these to the llama, I also placed a black strip of clay over the body. I then went ahead and baked it in my oven according to my package's instructions. After baking you can take some acrylic paint and then use it to colour the legs. I started off with a darker blue, let it dry and then I added some small sections of black paint on the ends for the hooves. On the saddle part I used some brown clay to add an arrow on each side using my dotting tool rather than a brush so that I could be more precise. Once the paint had dried I then added some glaze over those parts to seal it in but you could also glaze over the whole thing if you like. And there you have it, that's everything for this tutorial and this is how my Fortnite Llama turned out. If you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!